In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use my one-hour trading day option system that not only had me up over 283% in 2021, but also up over 250% in 2022 while the rest of the market was crashing. And I'm already up over 60% this year. Better yet, this is something you can do if you are a complete beginner to trading, if you're busy working a job during the day and have limited time, or if you've struggled to trade options successfully in the past. The key is learning how to minimize your risk while maximizing your upside potential at the same time. And the best part is, it only takes an hour a day. My name is Mike Shore, and I'm here to teach you how to become a better options trader. Let's dive in. So today, we're gonna cover the three main steps when it comes to my one hour trading day method. Step one, how to figure out which direction a stock is likely to move. Step two, how to amplify your returns and net 30 to 50% plus winners in under an hour. And step three, how to set your trades on autopilot and spend less time trading each day. But first, let's talk about the state of the market we dealt with in 2022. The NASDAQ over the last year was down 31%. Facebook, otherwise known as Meta, was down 62%. 62% in one year for a multi-billion dollar, at one time, this was considered a safe company. It's absurd. And Tesla, a huge retail favorite, was down 69% over the last year. Retirement accounts got really hurt last year, with the average retirement account down over 25%. That's a huge problem. And many of you likely lost money trading in the markets and may not be comfortable trading now. So in this type of market, what we need is a strategy that has the potential to win in any market. And that can be done in under an hour a day for those with busy schedules. Not only did the strategy I'm gonna teach you today help me generate a return of 283% on my live trade signals in 2021, it helped me generate a return of over 250% in 2022, a year when many people lost a lot in the market. I believe you can do this. Even if you're a total beginner, even if you don't have a lot of time to trade every day, and even if you failed to trade successfully before. But don't trust me, let me prove it to you. A lot of gurus out there will make all sorts of claims, but I'm here today to back up everything I say and teach you how you can do this yourself. And at the end of the training, I have a very special announcement about some openings in my live trading room. So you're going to want to hear that as well. All right, some important disclaimers here before we get started. Your typical things like trading is risky, past performance is not indicative of future results, etc. You can pause this video and read the full disclaimers if you like. So step one, how to figure out which direction a stock is about to move. Long story short, we want to use proven, repeatable patterns that I've used for almost 30 years that are excellent indicators of which direction a stock is gonna move in. So think about this. Most of you have probably eaten a double-decker sandwich like this in the picture that I have. So it might seem crazy, but this is a good representation for what you need to know to understand the chart setup I'm about to teach you. Now let's look at these ugly lines here on the screen. So I'm gonna teach you what I call my zone setup, which we can also call the sandwich or really the double-decker sandwich. So from top to bottom, these three lines represent the 50, the 20, and the 50 exponential moving averages. This setup is most powerful when the stock price falls between the two lines at the top, or the five or 20 day moving average. Okay, so here's an example with Starbucks. So we're looking at a five minute chart in Starbucks. You should see three colored lines on the screen, a yellow one, a pink one, and a blue one. Those represent the five, 20, and 50 period exponential moving averages. These are very simple indicators you can pull up on any chart. So this is what I call my zone setup or the sandwich. What I'm looking for is for the stock to dip between the yellow and the pink line. Can you see the stock price getting sandwiched between the yellow and the pink lines? It's literally that straightforward. And what it does is a super strong buy signal for me. And as you can see here, we bought in right at that arrow and the stock started to run up from there. And that nice little move during the day 
can be greatly amplified using options, which I'm going to show you later on. So like I said before, we put out an options trade signal to capture this move. And in literally less than an hour, that resulted in a 32% gain. Okay, here's one in Apple. Now, can you see where that sandwich is happening here? As you can probably guess, the stock gets sandwiched right there between the yellow and the red lines. And to visualize this even more, you can see the stock line getting sandwiched between the upper part of our double-decker sandwich. Apple was off to the races after that. And again, here was the kicker. We're able to get this 35% move in just 40 minutes. That's the beauty of these chart setups. They are predictable and they happen quick. According to my students, it's not just me either. My students are locking in some nice profits as well, like Carl here, pulling in $1,000 a day. While that might seem small, can you imagine having $1,000 days when you're just starting out? And check out Robin as well. In just one month, he's able to take trades like this and pull in over $10,000 in one month. And let me be super clear here. Nothing works 100% of the time. If any guru out there were to tell you that they have a strategy that works 100% of the time, you should run for the hills. Because I'm a straight shooter. Our goal isn't to find some perfect pattern that works 100% of the time, because that's not realistic. Our goal is to find patterns that work most of the time and then be able to maximize our potential returns with limited risk when we have these chances. Here's another one with Twitter. Can you see the zone and that sandwich happening here? And as you can see, this thing rocketed up quickly thereafter. We got in these for 98 cents. In just over an hour, we have Mark exiting for a 63% gain. Rick locking in a 50% gain, and Leticia here locking in 47%. These are fast, powerful options moves. Here's another in GRWG. Can you see the sandwich happening here? And as you can see, the stock gets sandwiched between the yellow and the red lines here. And sure enough, it was off to the races after that. We got in right where you can see that yellow arrow. Here's another one in Micron, using charts directly from my live trading room, which my students see every day. How about this one? Can you see how the sandwich is happening here? You can see it right here next to the yellow line. And boom, we're off to the races after that. We got in some calls for a dollar four. In less than 30 minutes, we're already exiting for some quick gains. Surendra, locking in 27%. Carl, 29%. Cindy, 27%. Karen, 30%. Jatin, 34%. And Kevin, locking in 35%. It's hard to beat gains like this in such a short time frame. Speaking of Jatine, when he started with me, he almost doubled his account in the first month and a half with us. First month and a half. That is what's possible here, folks. So you might be wondering, Mike, this is great and all, but it only looks like this works when a stock is going up. How does this work when a stock is going down? So take a look at this chart here. In the other charts, we've been focusing on when the stock chart lines get sandwiched between the upper two lines, in this case, the red and the blue. Now for a downside play, we want to focus on when the stock gets sandwiched between the bottom two lines, in this case, red and yellow. So if you look at this red circle here, this is exactly where the stock price gets sandwiched between those two lines. And sure enough, the stock started going down quickly after that. So here's how it works. Options are extremely powerful. To simplify everything, every option contract comes with a multiplier of 100, meaning that if you bought one options contract, that'll give you the right to buy or sell 100 shares of the underlying stock. So in the Micron example, let's say you're working with a smaller account and you only want to buy 10 contracts of the options I showed you before. In our case, the specific options contract we wanted was priced at $1.04. Within 45 minutes, that option had already moved up to $141 netting us a return of 37 cents per contract. So let's say we bought 10 contracts in this example. That would cost you $1,040. And if you sold when we put out the exit signal, you would have made a profit of $370 in less than 45 minutes. If you had 50 contracts, that would have been a profit of $1,850. Or if you had 100 contracts, that would have been a profit of $3,700. That's the power of trading options. You'll never get these kind of gains just by trading stocks alone. Okay, so here's a question for all of you watching this. Do you think that was pretty straightforward? This isn't supposed to be rocket science here. 
so I try and break things down in a way anyone could understand. So let's move on to the next setup. All of you should know what a road looks like, but you'll see why this is important in a second. Think of it like this. Have you ever been driving before and gotten slightly distracted and ended up driving slightly off the side of the road before realizing what you did and driving right back into the lane? I bet there's a good chunk of you who have or have been in the car when somebody else did that. So this next pattern you're about to see is called the ledge, but I also like to call it the road or the swerve off the road. So here's a screenshot from my Thinkorswim platform. There might be a lot of things on this screen, but I only need you to focus on three lines. First, the light red one at the top. Next, the light yellow one that's kind of in the middle. And lastly, probably most importantly, the red and green one you see at the bottom. The light red and the light yellow lines are what's called two standard deviations away from that pink line you see right there in the middle, which is called the VWAP. Don't worry about the lingo for right now. The green red line is the whole moving average. You don't have to know what it is other than an indicator of momentum. We are looking for the price of the underlying to go above or below the plus or minus 2SD and then look for the hull to indicate the reversal. In this example, we're looking for the price to go below the minus 2SD. The buy indication is when the hull goes from red to green. That's our indicator to buy. You see how this sort of looks like a road? Lines one and two are like the sides of the road with the pink line almost as the divider. Then you have line three, which is like the path of the car driving. So essentially what we're looking for is for when that line number three swerves off the road and just starts to turn right back in and turn green, that's our buy indicator. And boom, look at that perfect reversal up right where we called it. Can you all see that stock price, aka the car swerving right back in? Now this one requires a few more lines to look at, but I give all of my students in my live trading room access to my charts, so these are pre-set up for them. From there, it's just a matter of seeing this set up a few times, and you're good to go from there. Now can you see that ledge or swerve happening here with JPM? So as you can see here, we have our sides of the roads with numbers one and two. Then we have the path of our car swerving outside the lines in the other direction this time, and now it turns red. Guess what happens when it turns from green to red? That shift to red signaled to us that the stock was going to go down, so we ended up making a put trade to capture that. We entered right where that yellow arrow is, and while this one took a little bit to play out, JP Morgan's stock started to decline pretty shortly after. And most importantly, my students were succeeding. Check out Ryan and Jake with nice 29% winners in a short period of time. Here's another really good example. At numbers one and two, we have our sides of the road. And in the middle of our road is the purple. So now that we know how this setup works and that we're looking for our red green line to swerve off the road, can you all see where that is happening? There you go. So you can see right here that our car, aka the red green line, swerves hard off the road down here. That is our indicator to buy. And as you can see, shortly right after, the stock makes a huge move up. Even recently, we've had success with very similar trade setups. Here's an example of a recent trade. Buy triple Q, 287 strike calls at 220. Three minutes later, out at 261 for a quick 19% gain. Here's one to the downside in Amazon. Amazon put, buy them at 145. Out at 181, six minutes later, for a quick gain of 25%. Here's another. Triple Q, 295 strike call. Buy for 330. Six minutes later, out at 403 for a quick 22% gain. After that trade, Saidu hit his daily goal after just three trades on the day. Same thing for Brenda. Done for the day after that trade. Another that just happened. Triple Q, 292 call. Buy for $1.90. Out three minutes later for $2.38 or a quick gain of 25%. And another Triple Q 402 call. Buy for $1.90. Out three minutes later for $2.14 or a quick gain of 14%. Another one with Thuy hitting his $460 goal for the day. And Sudakar on vacation in Maui using his trading profits to finance his vacation. This one might be a little bit harder to see, 
but Chuck messaged me the other day saying he doubled his account since last November. We got Sudakar again here, funding a Porsche Taycan with his profits. And probably my best student, Mark, getting himself a new lake house with his profits. Mark has had a pretty fantastic year, as you can see. And he is a great example of what is possible when you use what I'm going to show you today. Now, is this the case for most students? Of course not. But I want to show you what is possible here. And is every trade going to be a winner? Of course not. In fact, my win-loss ratio last year was 56% to 44%. It might not seem like a lot, but the goal is to win on the majority of your trades. And most importantly, the goal is to let your winners run and cut your losers short. Take a look at this example on Apple. I put out a call buy at $2.15 to the students in my room. Quickly, I realized the play wasn't moving in our favor. And I let my students know that we should get out at $2 if it continues to move against us. Then we were able to get out ahead of time for a very small loss. Why? Because we managed our risk. You see, anyone that is a serious trader knows that winning 56% of the time is an incredible result to have. And following these principles is exactly how I grew my live signal account to over 250% last year. Okay, so now we know some of the most powerful and extremely simple indicators to use to figure out what direction a stock is going to move in. So now you might be wondering, okay, Mike, show us how to actually do this with options, which brings me to my step two of my strategy. So let's first get into a little bit of options 101 here. A call option gives you the right to buy a stock at a specified strike price before or at a specified expiration date. So for example, one call option gives you the right to buy 100 shares of the underlying stock. Here's a screenshot for an option in Square that I pulled from marketwatch.com. You can see the current price of the option on the top you can see the strike price here, which is at $215. That's in the middle. And if you can see the expiration of this option, that was previously at December 11th. And here's a quick graph of what our profit payout looks like based on how the stock is going to move. All you need to know is that there is a break-even point, which usually comes somewhere slightly above the strike price of your option. And if the stock continues to go higher beyond that, the profit potential on a call is potentially unlimited. And if the stock goes down, you can only lose the amount you paid for the option. And next up, we have a put option, which essentially gives you the right to sell a stock at a specified strike price before or at a specified expiration date. So for example, one put option contract gives you the right to sell 100 shares of the underlying stock. And here's another quick screenshot of a put option for Square. We got our price of the option at the top, the strike price in the middle at 215, and we have our expiration date at the bottom. And as for our payout on a put option, it's basically the flipped over version of the call option payout graph you previously saw. The lower the stock goes, the more money you make. And if the stock goes up, you could only lose as much as you paid for the option. So how can we use my strategies and play these chart setups with options? So believe it or not, it's a lot more straightforward than you think. Okay, this is what we need to do. Number one, we want to buy a call option if we think the stock is going up based on the chart pattern we see. Or if we think the stock is going down, we want to buy a put option. Number two, we want the expiration of the option to be as close as we possibly can get, but at least greater than one day away. So for example, if the option is expiring today, I, I won't trade that. Instead, I would go for the one that's expiring tomorrow. But the majority of the time, I'm going with the option that's expiring the soonest. And lastly, we want our strike price as close to the current price as possible, which you'll see in a second. So let's say we see a good setup in Square. Here's an older screenshot from within the Thinkorswim trading platform. Whatever trading platform you use should have something similar to this that lists out the options for each stock based on the different expiration dates. If today is September 7th, we're gonna use the September 10th option since we have three days until expiration. So now we want to target the strike price that is closest to what the stock price is. So for example, if Square is trading at $266, we want to target the strike price of $267.50. You always want that slightly above what the stock, not slightly below. Okay, so now let's pull in an older example we have. As some of you might have guessed, we have a sandwich set up here. 
To be specific, we have a bullish setup here, which tells me that the stock is likely to go up. In this current example, the stock is trading around 202. So here you can see what the actual signal will look like in my room. So what this means, for those who don't understand it, is we're gonna buy the calls in square that have a strike price of 202 half for $4.10 per contract. Pretty straightforward, right? Sure enough, Square made a nice move up and we're able to sell out of these for as much as $5.65. This all happened literally within 14 minutes. Can you imagine locking in a 38% gain in 14 minutes? It's pretty awesome stuff. And again, most importantly, our students are able to follow along. We have Jatine here locking in a 27% gain in about 11 minutes. Mark with a 34% gain in 12 minutes and Jake with a 37% gain in 14 minutes. Here's another great student of ours, Kim. She hit the $1 million profit mark using these strategies. $1 million. Can you imagine that? That's the power of these strategies. So this is pretty important to understand as well. Square stock moved from about 201 half to 204.71, resulting in a 1.59% gain, which isn't much to talk about. What if you had bought the option like we just showed you? In this example, that's a 38% gain for the exact same move. That's the power of using options to amplify your trades. So step three, how to set up your trades on autopilot and spend less time trading each day. You may be thinking, Mike, this is great and all, but I don't have the time of the day to spend constantly watching my trades. So if this is you, you're gonna love what we get into right here. So this is definitely a common problem. What if I don't have time to trade all day? So I actually have a lot of my students in my live trading room who come in for just the first hour or two in the day. And that's mainly because I've taught them how to place most of their trades on autopilot. So this is super important and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second. But by carefully using stops and especially trailing stops, we'll dramatically lower our potential losses. And at the same time, let our winners keep running and running and running. So here's an example of a traditional stop order. So let's say we purchase some call options in Apple based on a setup we saw, and we want to limit our risk right off the bat. Right when we purchase, what we can do is put on a stop order. So let's say we bought these options for a dollar, and now we want to place our stop order. If you look at the arrow on the right, you'll see that we have our order type as stop selected. And with the arrow on the left, you'll see we have our stop price at 90 cents. We could choose to put out a stop order at 90 cents to limit our risk to a maximum 10% loss. That way, if things don't work out for us and you aren't near your computer, when the option price hits 90 cents, it'll automatically sell you out of your position. That way, you don't have to worry about watching it and selling it manually yourself. As you've seen in some of our examples, we know relatively quickly if a signal is going to work out for us or not. Here's another really great thing we use in our live training room. This is what's called a trailing stop order. So essentially what happens is instead of placing a normal stop order, what we can do is place a trailing stop order, which basically moves up your stop price as the stock goes up. So if you check out these arrows here, you'll see two different things. You'll see we have trailing stop selected as our order type on the right arrow. And the left arrow will show you our trailing stop amount of 15 cents. So if we bought the Apple option for a dollar, that means that stop price initially is set at 85 cents. One dollar minus 15 cents gets us to that 85 cent initial stop. So here's a hypothetical graph of our Apple call option. So like I said before, let's say we bought this call option in Apple for a dollar. And let's say that we set a trailing stop at 15 cents, which initially sets the stop price at 85 cents. The black line is the price of the call option and the red lines are our stop price. So take a look at this. As the call option price moves up, you're gonna see the stop price move up with it. So if the call option moved up to $1.15, our trailing stop would move up to a dollar. But just as importantly, if the call option price were to dip, as you can see around our third red line, the stop price holds where it is and doesn't go down. This is key because what it's doing it's allowing us to lock in profits if the stock starts to dip after we've already bought in. Same thing with the fourth and fifth red lines. As the call option price continues to move up, our stop price moved up again with it. 
But as you can see, over on that drop on the right side, but as you can see over on that drop on the right side of the screen, once Apple stock drops right there, it would sell us out and allow us to lock in our profits. This is super important because it stops us from getting overly greedy and allows us to lock in profits on a nice move up without having to worry about watching our trading screen. Okay, so I'm going to add in a bonus step here designed to help traders get to that next level. How to learn from me live using my live trade signals. The same live trade signals that helped me generate a return of 250% in 2022 and that have helped some of my students learn and get into some trades like the one above. Now I'm going to cover this briefly because I don't like to toot my own horn too much. So if you aren't interested in learning from me live and getting access to my live trade signals, then you can hop off of this video right now. But if you are, here's what I have for you. And I encourage you all to stay for the rest of the video because I'm gonna show you what I believe to be the most powerful trading program in the entire industry. I run the short-term options program at Prosper Training Academy. We accept a few new people in the program every month if they're qualified. And again, I strongly believe that this beats anything else out there in the industry. Our education and track record is unparalleled. So here's how it works. You're gonna get 10 to 15 of my live trade signals each day. They're designed to exit in less than an hour and have a profit target of 10 to 20%. Each signal is pre-researched by myself and my team with the goal to teach you my trading style in a live format. And on top of that, you get access to me in my live trading room each day to learn from me, ask questions, learn from my live trade signals and more. This is all done live. That way you can ask me anything if you need in real time. And most importantly, you can copy and paste my live trade signals to potentially cash in on some impressive winners yourself. So now you have two options. Option number one, you can take what you've learned today and try it on your own without any help. And that's totally fine. I sincerely hope there are some of you out there that can do that right now, but that's hard. And you're risking potential losses by screwing something up. And you're likely to have to go back to YouTube, spend hours and hours doing more research and still not understand it. Who has the time to do that? Now option number two, you can copy my live trade signals and trade beside me in my live trading room. I'll be there to mentor you every day, even if just for an hour a day. Now here's the deal. Let's come back to this, which I showed you before. Long story short, I don't just let anyone join my short-term options program because not only are you getting to learn from all my live trade signals, as well as me live every single day to help you out, but we're also a tight knit group of traders who genuinely care about helping each other out. We call ourselves the Wolf Pack. I have t-shirts and hats and everything. So at the end of the day, my team and I only accept certain people into my short-term options program. And I think it's super important to make sure people are a good fit before they're accepted. So the reason I created this video was not only to show you how my trading style is working in this market, but also to give you a chance to see if you qualify for my short-term options program, here's how it works. So if you're interested in seeing if you qualify for my short-term options program, you can click the button that should pop up in the top right corner of this video, or go to the link in the description of this video, or just type offer.prospertrading.com slash shore into your browser. When you get there, you'll hopefully see a page like this, letting you know that there are still seats available in my program. You'll click the button at the bottom to start the brief quiz, and see if you qualify. After answering a few questions, you'll see if you qualify or not. At that point, you can pick a time to talk to my team about getting started with my program. And if you aren't qualified, there's not much I can do for you. We really want our group to be tight so we don't create a washed out experience for our members. But with that being said, we do accept absolute beginners who are passionate about becoming better traders and want to potentially make some serious coin. And like we talked about earlier, you only need just an hour a day to utilize this. I have plenty of students come in for just a short period of time, take a few trades, and then leave. And like I said, I know what I'm doing. The live trade signals you'll get in this room have gained over 9,645% cumulatively since 2018, and up 250% last year in 2022. Like I said, throughout this video, I believe they work extremely well and pretty much anyone can follow along, even absolute beginners. 
So as you see on the screen, type offer.prospertrading.com slash shore into your browser or click the button at the top right of this video to take the brief quiz right now and find out if you're qualified. If you procrastinate a little bit and you go to the application page after the time period is up, you'll lose out on potentially filling one of my few open spots this month. So you might be wondering, Mike, why do you cap the amount of members in your program? To be honest, it's because I don't want the masses to know about these strategies. I want to keep our group very tight so I can make sure everyone is killing it in the market. And I want to make sure you get taken care of. I want every one of my students to succeed in the market and not have huge losses. I seriously care for each of my students. And while there is a startup fee for new members, I believe most students make their investment back very quickly. Like I said, I was up over 250% last year compared to the rest of the market pretty much crashing with retirement accounts down as much as 30% in some cases. So again, qualified applicants can get all of this. 10 to 15 of my live option trading signals per day, all with a profit target of 10 to 30%, with most designed to exit in an hour or less. And you'll get some of my longer term swing option spread signals as well. Plus, like I said earlier, you're getting access to me in my live trading room every day. And my members get a ton of extra bonuses that you'll learn about if you're qualified. So if you're interested in seeing if you qualify for my short-term options program, you can click the button that should pop up in the top right corner of this video or go to the link in the description of this video or just type offer.prospertrading.com slash sure into your browser. Now for some frequently asked questions. This one I get a lot. What if I'm busy during the day or I have a job? Well, I'm only asking for one hour a day, even if it's not the first hour of the day. You can still do this. If you aren't able to commit one hour a day to something, then how can you expect to get what you want? Money just doesn't grow on trees. You have to work for it. And one hour a day is nothing compared to the potential returns you can make from learning my strategies. Here's another one. How much do I need in my trading account to get started? So to be honest, I would say the minimum is really $2,500 to take all the trades. And if you have $5,000, you'll be plenty comfortable. Can I do this if I'm a beginner? Of course. If you're qualified, you'll get full access to our online campus so you will learn to use these strategies on your own. You get my live trading room plus our live foundation trading room and a one-on-one -on -one onboarding mentor. Up next, can I use any platform to trade on? Yes, the majority of platforms should work for you. Personally, I use Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade if you want a recommendation. So, if you're interested in seeing if you qualify for my short-term options program, you can click the button that should pop up in the top right corner of this video, or go to the link in the description of this video, or just type offer.prospertrading.com slash shore into your browser. Click the link or head over to offer.prospertrading.com slash shore. So thank you, thank you again for your time today, guys and gals, and I hope to see you on the inside.